Welcome back to Ameritrick Art. My name is Vicki and today we are going to be looking at a resource of cheap supplies for beginner artists or hobby artists and just something to take a look at. Figured I could do a little review on something I found at Five Below. So Five Below has two of these little artist kits and wallets with some really nice art done on the front. So the first one is a sequin wallet and I don't, it's the only one I picked up for now, but it's got 21 art supplies in it and it was really cheap. It's from, it's $5 the max you can get at a uh, max price you find at five below anyways these are both by creative gallery the other one has similar products into it and that's the reason why I didn't pick up both similar products just different tones in the pastels it looked like so we're gonna take a look the front of this looks really creative it's, it shows the some pastels, some colored pencils, a sketching pencil eraser, and a sharpener. So I believe that's what actually comes in this, just the quantity varies. Anyways, we're gonna take a look on the back. So we have eight soft pastels. So it looks like we have the basic colors here. We have eight colored pencils, which would be right about would be these, a sketching pencil, a sharpener, a vinyl eraser, which basically is plastic, and a tortillion or blending stone, and the sequin wallet to hold everything in. So we will take a look into it as soon as I open it up. So here are all the supplies unwrapped. We have eight colored pencils in red, yellow, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, and black. Obviously no browns or skin tones, so that's gonna be a little fun trying to mix up. A eraser. It feels like an eraser. It's a little plasticky though, so I'm not really high hopes for it. Possibly the most basic uh, erasing that you can get. I do like that it comes in a little paper sleeve that so that you can uh, keep your hand dust your eraser dust free. Sharpener looks like a sharpener. An HB pencil, which is your standard number two. A tortillion, which is a rolled piece of paper for blending and eight soft pastels, which look like chalk pastels. I have to check them out and swatch them out and make sure that they actually lay down some good color. They feel kind of dried out or solid brick. They might be oil and just need some time pressure to activate, but it's not looking good. Anyways, I'm going to swatch all these out and check out to make sure that they're okay to use.
So after swatching all the art supplies, the pencil is a pencil. It's an HB pencil. Number two performs as expected. The eraser is cheap. It's bendable. It erases just probably as well as a your standard school eraser. The colored pencils are cheap. Uh, the white doesn't actually show up on the page as well, and it doesn't layer very well. In fact, let, let me show you something. Not really pressing all too hard, just getting some color on the page. And then, that's as, about as good of a layer as I'm gonna get. Let's try adding another layer on top. And keep going different colors see it does you can still see the yellow orange underneath but you can't really see all the other layers so you can layer with them it's just after three or four layers they stop showing up it starts looking brandish brandished so the soft pastels are actually chalk pastels it's messy not my favorite cup of tea, but I'll use them. Um, the white actually does show up on top of the other pastels, so that's a plus. Like, the white colored pencil you won't see very well. It's These types of colored pencils, they don't expect you to use very often. In fact, I might just use it to help blend the colored pencils, as tortillions really don't, tortillions really don't blend colored pencil too well Let's see yeah you can see the page warping right here so yeah no the it says said art materials ex performed as expected for cheap so coming up I'm going to do a mini uh, piece of art to show you that you can do some art with with these even if they don't perform as expected So for the art, I didn't do anything special. I didn't make anything special. It's just a small little thing that I do with art supplies I've never used before. I split it off into section, the page off into sections and just color in each different section with a different color or art material. Later on, I do bl try blending out the pencil on a different art and you'll see that too. But all in all, these supplies performed as expected. It was cheap. I think I was actually more uh, surprised by the chalk pastels and how well they actually blended out than I was about the colored pencils. The purple did fail on me. It broke on the inside. It was brittle. I can't say anything else about that. I just couldn't sharpen it for the life of me. I'll try sharpening it again, but it does not work right. So once these break, I guess they break. Uh, I'll have to take heat gun to it. Anyways, yeah, as I was saying, the chalk pencils actually perform better than the colored pencils in this kit. I actually am glad I picked those up.
So here's the uh, HP pencil test that I was alluding to earlier. I wasn't using any tool to draw the circle and I don't really feel confident in my abilities. I was just using it so that I could blend it out and see how well the lead blends out or even how well the tortillion helps to blend. Not all tortillions are made the same, but they are supposed to blend at least decently. So I think it was actually my sketchbook's fault for this not blending out right. I've had a little trouble blending in it before. Uh, I'm also not used to using a tortillion like this where it actually has the grooves of the paper. Anyways, out of all the points I could give, I think I'll give this kit about a 3 out of 5. It serves its basic needs, it introduces you to new art supplies, but some of the supplies don't work out. So this is actually all for today's video. If you like this type of video where I test art supplies, give it a it a thumbs up please subscribe to see more from my channel and leave a comment if you have a art supply you love have a good day